This is Jonathan Kahn, the author of The Harbinger, standing in New York City. And we're about to see a, another manifestation, a harbinger of where we are, where we are heading. In the book, The Harbinger, it opens up the mystery of the last days of ancient Israel. Israel was a nation that had known God, was founded by God and on his word, but in their prosperity, the people turned away from God. They turned away from the God of their foundation and they turned to the God Baal. And, and they offered up their children as sacrifices on the altars of Baal. They called what was evil good and what was good evil. They drove God out of their government, out of their culture, out of, out of their, the lives of their children. They persecuted and hunted down the righteous. And they did this all as they worshiped Baal. And the harbinger reveals the nine signs or harbingers that appeared in the last days of ancient Israel and that those same signs, harbingers, are now appearing on American soil. Some of them, many of them, right here in New York City, some in Washington, D.C., but here we are in the city of most of the harbingers, starting with 9-11 and the attack on America. Now, one of the things about the template of the harbinger is that when the first warnings came, when the warning came to ancient Israel, they ignored them and they got even worse. They departed even more brazenly against the ways of God. They made the, the vow, the declaration that Isaiah recorded, Isaiah 9:10, the bricks have fallen, but we will rebuild with hewn stone. The sycamores have been cut down, but we will plant cedars in their place. So they're saying we're gonna get worse, we're gonna, we're gonna come back greater, but without you, God. So spiritually, they were gonna descend even worse and worse and worse. And that's exactly the template that we are seeing in America. Since 9-11, we are following, we have followed the template of ancient Israel. Not only with the harbingers appearing, but with increasing defiance, increasing the calling of evil good and good evil, increasing in every way immorality. And when the judgment finally came after the warning, years later, the judgment came to ancient Israel, the people of Israel were worshiping Baal. Now Baal is, the real name was Baal. It means Lord or master. Baal was the substitute God. He was the God of their apostasy. He was the God that they turned to when they turned away from the God of their fathers. Baal was the anti-God or the representing their fall. America has followed that pattern. The harbingers have appeared. Could the sign of Baal appear in the land? Could the sign of Baal, the sign of a nation that has turned away from God, a nation that has embarked on defiance of God and judgment, could that sign appear in this land? And we are here today to witness that sign appearing on American soil. And it is September 19th, 2016. I'm standing in New York City, in City Hall Park, on a rainy Monday afternoon, a little past one. And what you see in back of me, about to be unveiled, covered up, is the arch that led to the Temple of Baal. In a moment, they're gonna have a ceremony, they're gonna unveil it, and There'll be American leaders here, and what you will see on American soil is the sign of Baal.
African soil in back of me is the manifesting of the sign of Baal. This is a reproduction of the arch that stood in Syria that led to the temple of Baal, the arch through which the worshipers of Baal would go to worship their God, the God of Israel's apostasy. Baal in America, the God that is there at the time of the harbingers, the time of judgment, this is the sign, this is what led to, and this is what an, a sign of a nation that is leading to judgment. Baal, the sign of a nation that departed from its God. Baal, the sign of a nation in apostasy from God. Baal, the sign of a nation that once knew good and evil and now calls evil good and good evil. Baal, the sign of a nation that offers its children as sacrifices. Baal, the sign of a nation that persecutes the followers of God. And now, September 2016, this harbinger has appeared to America. We come to a most critical moment as Elijah stood on top of Mount Carmel and cried out to Israel in his hour of decision in between two altars and two gods, his voice now cries out to America and says, choose you this day whom you will serve. 70 years ago, the chaplain of the United States Senate cried out with the same voice and said to this nation, if the Lord be God, then follow him. But if Baal, then follow him and go to hell.